What is up guys, welcome to episode 1. Today we are diving into Adobe After Effects to break down exactly how to create those sleek high tech UI text animations you see in top tier portfolios like SAS and Zelios. And don't worry even if you are a beginner, I am going to walk you through every single step. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. So firstly, let's create a new composition for this and let's call it as SAS animation. For the preset, I will be going with 1920 which is horizontal and for the frame rate we will be going with 30 frames per second and the duration i will be using the 10 second duration and the background color let's set it black for now hit ok and hit ok again now let's add a background first go to layer go to new and then select the solid layer let's call it add bg1 and for the color you can go with your desired color i will be going with something around like maybe a lighter shade of cyan color hit ok and hit ok again now our background will be added to our composition let's add a text first so grab the text type tool and type your desired text i will type like something like attract customers attention yeah now select the text first and just change the fill color to like something like black for now hit ok and now here I will be using the preset or script uh, which is free to download. You can use the free script like text explorer. I will be splitting the words separately to each layer. You can do it manually but I will be going with the script to make it fast. So select your text layer first and just uh, here in the text explorer script just change the split into words and make sure the delete original is checked and the layer order is set to top to bottom and just hit apply and your each word layer is separated to its own layer so this was very fast so just select these two layers and just turn off these layer for now and just select the first layer which is attract layer and just align it in the center of the composition and make sure the anchor point is in the center of the text too now let's add an effect called four color gradient effect just select your text layer and let's choose a four color gradient effect double click to apply it now uh, you can choose any color you want let's choose a color like something a bright pink color for this uh, choose the third color like the same as first and let's choose the second color like something like bright blue color hit ok and let's choose the last color like something like second color yeah perfect now adjust the markup points something like this yeah this works better just increase the blend value something around 195 maybe just you can adjust the points according to your like to give it a more cool vibe so yeah this was our text let's select our text layer go to properties and just decrease the size a little bit let's set it to 170 now it's time to animate this so hit s to open the scale property and make a keyframe on the scale hit t to open the opacity property and just make a keyframe on opacity hit u to see both the properties now move the playhead to something around one frame or one second and just make another keyframes by clicking on this little keyframe icons to make a keyframe again now again move the playhead to around two seconds and just make another two keyframes here move the playhead to at the beginning of the timeline and just increase the scale size a little bit let's go with 140 and just decrease the opacity to 0% and now our text will come like this and now move the playhead to the last keyframe and just decrease the scale value a little bit something around 50 and just decrease the opacity back to 0% select your keyframes hit F9 and just go to the speed graph editor and make the graph something like this yeah perfect now let's see our animation first yeah so this was our animation so this was good now move the playhead to the last of the uh, second two seconds and just select the text second text layer and turn on the second text layer and center align it in the center of the composition again just decrease the size to around 170 again align it in the center of the composition make sure the anchor point is in the center of the text and just make sure the playhead is at the last of the keyframe of the first layer and just select your second text layer and holding alt and left bracket key it will split or delete the left side of the second layer so our text first text will come after it ends second text will be appear so 
this is the cool trick you can apply to your animations so again let's copy and paste this uh, effect uh, but firstly let's change the color for this again select your first text layer go to effect controls and just copy this four color gradient effect select your second text layer and hit ctrl v to paste the gradient effect to your second text layer and just you can adjust the points of the color something like this yeah let's choose the color different color for this yeah so yeah now let's copy our animation we don't have to make from scratch just copy these keyframes hit ctrl c to copy this and make sure the playhead is at the two second where the, the second clip starts just hit ctrl v to paste the animation and hit u to see its keyframe and now let's see our animation yeah so it applies to both the layers and now just you have to repeat with the same third layer now the trick is to change the background for the third text so firstly let's move the playhead to around last frame of the second layer where the last keyframes are there and now select your third text layer and just turn on the layer first and make sure the it, it is aligned in the center of the composition and go to properties and let's change the size to 170 like before again let's align it in the center of the composition and make sure the anchor point is in the center of the composition or text and now let make sure the third layer is selected and holding alt and left bracket just split the layer and it will be deleted like before so yeah now what we have to do is change the text color to a white color and now just select your background layer and make sure the playhead is at the last keyframe where we split the third layer and just hit ctrl shift d to duplicate the background layer and split it from that point so yeah now let's quickly change its name from background to like bg2 and now let's add a color or four color gradient to this background just click this background two layer and just apply the four color gradient effect and now let's change the color to something like maybe a dark pink maybe let's choose the third color like the same first as first and just change the second color to a bright blue color and choose the last color like the same as second color and now we have to swipe up the points so what we have to do is select your background layer again and just drag these points to like something like this corner just select the four color gradient effect you can select the point select the first point like something here select the second point to something like here select the third point to something like here select the fourth point to something like here so yeah this was our animation now we have to make the background like looping animation so just make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the fourth or sorry third clip uh, where our background and third layer starts just make a keyframe on point 1 point 2 point 3 and point 4 and move the playhead to around six second forward and just you have to swap up the points like change the first point to something like here change the second point to something like here change the third point to something like here change the fourth point to something like here so it will be swapping like this and now let's add a quick cool expression to make it loop endlessly or holding alt or option key on your keyboard if you are using mac just use the option key click on this point one stopwatch and type in cool expression called wiggle open parenthesis and just type 2 comma 50 and just open close parenthesis and just hit enter now your background loops like this and just you have to copy these expression to all the layers so select your point one layer right click and select the copy expression only just click on point two and hit ctrl v to paste the expression and repeat the same for the list of the two points so our background will be added to something like this so this looks super cool so yeah this was the animation and lastly we have to add the text animation so just copy these keyframes hit ctrl c select your third text layer make sure the anchor point or make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the third layer hit ctrl v to paste the keyframes and hit u to see its keyframe and now our text animation will look like this so this was our animation just hit u for the background to hide the keyframes select the keyframes and hit f9 to easy ease and now our animation will look like this and lastly let's add a pop-up 
or let's add a cherry on top of the our text animation so select your first text layer make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the text now make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the timeline select your first text layer and just drag and drop the preset or text preset i will be providing in the description in the project assets you can download and use it from that one let's type like motion type just apply this motion type light preset to your text and now your text animation will look like this so yeah now same apply it to the both second and third layer make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the second layer just apply this text preset again select the third layer make sure the uh, playhead is at the beginning of the third layer just apply the third preset and now our animation will look like this and now we have to offset these layers a little one frame before so select the second layer and just holding shift select all the third layer three layers it's you to see their keyframes and now let's offset the second layer little bit and let's offset the third layer little bit and also the second background layer so now our animation will look like this yeah it looks cool let's split it from the another side holding alt and right bracket key just select your both the background two layer and the third text layer and holding alt and right bracket key just split it from that side and now let's split it from something like let's split the second layer like something around last keyframe holding alt and right bracket key just split the layers and delete it will be deleted automatically just apply the same something around here and now hit u to hide all the keyframes now just turn on the motion blur for all the three text layers and now mark up the point clicking on n now lastly let's add a adjustment layer for this go to layer and go to new and just select the adjustment layer and let's call it as effect and let's apply a noise effect for this and just uncheck the noise type color noise option and just increase the noise something around three pixels or three percent and now lastly let's add a posterize time effect and just change the frame rate to around 28 maybe and now let's render it for the smooth playback and now let's see our final text animation awesome so yeah and that is a wrap now if you want to follow along easily or just inspect the setup make sure you grab the free project asset using the link right here in the description down below if you found this helpful smash that like button and subscribe for episode 2 thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one